Comic Army, this is the biggest video I've ever released. Let's go. Comic Army, welcome back. My name is Chris. I am the Comic Vet. Hope this video finds you safe and well. For the last little while, I've been talking about this Friday, today, was going to be the largest video that I've ever released in the history of my channel. And I hope that I'm going to back it up with what's going to happen. Get yourself comfortable. Grab yourself some popcorn. Grab yourself a nice beverage. Check out what I have. Check out what I have to say. I hope you really enjoy it. Let's begin. I have notes. So I'm going to be referring to them, and I'm going to be talking about not just keys, not just hot keys, not just grails, not just holy grails, but all of the above. Everything is going to be in this video, I promise. If you're new to my video, or pardon me, if you're new to my content, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, saluting that like button, and please leave a comment down below. I always try to, to respond to every single comment that's left on all my videos. Let's begin. A little while ago, I had the privilege of picking up a ratio comic, a 1 in 50, a book that I've actually been speaking about for quite a while since the original first printing was released. And it, of course, is The Amazing Spider-Man issue 55. This is the second printing 1 in 50 Gleason uh, sketch variant. As you can see, it's in pretty god, goddamn good shape. I, uh, I'm pretty pleased about getting my hands on this book. However, let's talk about the values of this book and where it's been with the last three eBay sales. Uh, it started off really hot. Um, the third last sale went for $143.43 Canadian, better known as $114.16 US. There it's declined to $100 uh, US and has even dropped further to the most recent sale of $90 US ungraded. Now the graded versions obviously are worth considerably more, but I'm only going to talk about uh, the prices for the raw and graded books that I'm going to present to you today. Up next is very similar, but it is again an exclusive, and it is the first printing of Amazing Spider-Man issue 55. The Virgin variant. As you can see, Patrick Gleason, pardon me, Patrick, Patrick Gleason hit a home run with this book. I've been talking about it for months, how I feel that it's going to present a new type of uh, comic books for artists to homage, and that's been happening. But let's talk about the raw version of this book and what the last three eBay sales have been. For the Virgin variant, uh, it's again was really hot and the, the third last sale went for $250.44 Canadian, also known as $199.29 US. It has then since slipped to the last two sales, being $120.05 US for the last two sales. So, uh, funny enough, the Virgin variant of this book is worth more than the second printing 1 in 50 ratio. But let's move on to something else. Let's talk about a book or a series that's actually incredibly hot right now. That, of course, is Boom Studios. Something is killing the children. Now, most of you know that the middle issues, uh, four, five, six, and into seven a little bit, are some of the hotter books in its run right now on the secondary market. I had an opportunity. Uh, a couple months ago to pick up issue number five for $50 Canadian. Let me tell you what's happened since. This is said something is killing the children. This is just a normal variant, the cover A, if you will. And uh, let's talk about it on the secondary market. Something, something the killing the children, issue number five, the third last sale went for $226.28 Canadian. That's better known as $180.05 US. The second last sale just dipped by $20 US to $160. But a cents in the last 24 hours has sold for 
and $78.50 raw. So yeah, looking at this book, it would probably grade a 9.6 or a 9.8. And let me tell you, that's what's going to happen. I will be setting that book off with a bunch of other Something is Killing the Children books. So let's get into some graded stuff. Uh, early last summer, I had an opportunity to pick up uh, an A and B cover graded. And I spent $150 Canadian on both books. It was a hell of a deal. Hell of a deal. I don't know if the person was desperate to, sit, desperate to sell or what, but it was something I couldn't say no to for $150 Canadian. And you're going to see why. First, we're going to talk about the A cover for Year of the Villain, Hell Arisen, issue number three, which is better known as the first appearance of Punchline. Now, I know what you're all thinking. That that book is cooled down. You know, it's, it's not what it was. Let me tell you, you're wrong. Hell Arisen, number three, in the 9.8. In the last three sales, went for $408.59 Canadian, better known as $325.09 US. The second last sale went for $350.10 Canadian. And the most recent sale in the last 24 hours dipped by just $15 and went for $335 US. Punchline is someone people are investing in. Now, like I said, I picked up the B cover for that book as well. And this is said B cover for the first appearance of Punchline. Hell Arisen, Year of the Villain, issue number three, the variant cover. Now, let's talk about that book. It is not quite where the A cover is. So let that be a little bit of a, a notice for those who think the B covers may go up in value further, further than the A, just based on the art itself. The B cover, the, for the last three sales, the, mo the third furthest away went for $227.54 Canadian in the 9.8, and that's better known as $181.04 US. The second last sale dipped by just a dollar to $180.04 US, but in the last 24 hours, the book has climbed by $70 US and is currently sitting at $250.06 US. Punchline is someone to keep an eye on. So let's talk about another villain, but let's switch it over to the Marvel side. One of the most heavily printed books in the history of comics. And that of course is X-Men number four, the first appearance of Omega Red. Now, I picked up uh, a 9.8, and I paid $125 Canadian for it. So as you can see, this is not a UPC. It's just a, tr it's just a direct copy. 9.8, first appearance of Omega Red. But let's see how I've done. In the last five, pardon me, last four sales, the fourth last sale, this book, strangely went for $502.87 Canadian, which is the equivalent of $400.10 US. The third last sale, the book is cooled a little bit from that one, it's $427.44 Canadian, which is equivalent of $340.09 US. The second last sale went for $326.63, but has since gone up. In the last 24 hours, this 9.8 bad boy has gone for $349.57 US. Omega Red is hot right now. Uh, for those who own the book, this might be a good time to sell, but I personally would not. We haven't seen Omega Red pop up yet in the MCU. He's supposed to be, or pardon me, he's rumored to be possibly in the Falcon Winter Soldier. He's also rumored to be in... Uh, Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow, and he's also rumored to be in the new Shang-Chi movie that's going to be released further down the road. Omega Red is hot. If you can find a cheap one, maybe pick it up. If you want to sell, go ahead, but I suggest you hold on for a little bit if you're thinking about selling. 
and wait for his first appearance, knowing that he's going to have a few different appearances in the MCU. Up next, we're going to talk about a book that I've won. Now, uh, for those that are unfamiliar with my channel, every Monday I have a Mystery Box Monday where I open up different Mystery Boxes. I've been focusing mostly on Torpedo Boxes, but I also open, open up other stuff. Well, uh, in one of my most recent ones, which came out March 1st, 2021, I hit. And what I won was The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 238, better known as the first appearance of the Hop Goblin. This is said book. Now, this book does not have the tattoos that the tattoos that are supposed to be in here. They've been taken out. And the book, Torpedo Comics, has graded themselves around a 5.0. So trying to find data on a 5.0 type of raw book with no tattoos was a little challenging, but I did get to find some. So let's talk about that. The last three sales were this. Uh, $157.14 Canadian, which is the equivalent of $125.01 US. The second last sale went for $100 US, but the most recent sale has jumped up $40 and it's and it sold for $140 US. As a hardcore Spider-Man fan and a Spider-Man collector, very happy to have this in my collection. There is room for improvement on this book. It could use a cleaning. It definitely could use a pressing. And uh, we'll see what happens with it once that happens and I submit the book. Uh, this is a book that's strictly for the PC, as I'm actually a very, very much a fan of the Hobgoblin. And I'm looking forward to the Hobgoblin making his way into the new Spider-Man franchise films. So let's 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 take an upgrade here and let's let's talk about some real real grails. This book I acquired very recently and I was asked not to talk about the price just because the person that sold it was desperate. So out of respect for that person, I am not going to talk about the price, but I will talk about where the book is sitting right now and that I've done quite well. Uh, in the last few weeks, I managed to get my hands on New Mutants 98, the first appearance of everyone's Merc with a Mouth, Deadpool. And I got my book in a 9.6. It, it again is a direct edition. There's no UPC code. There we have uh, the celebration of Captain America for 50 years. And uh, yeah, this is... This is a very special book to me. I'm glad to have it in, uh, in my collection. So let's talk about New Mutants 98 in a 9.6 and what it's done over its last three sales. The third last sale, the book went for $955.47 Canadian, which is the equivalent of $760.12 US. I know what you're thinking. My God, what happened to Deadpool? You know, it only seemed a year ago that you could get a 9.6 for a couple hundred bucks, 300 US. But all of a sudden now it's gone through the roof? Well, that's what happens when the MCU announces characters are going to be coming. And Deadpool is a hardcore fan favorite. And now his, his first appearance is quickly reaching that point where people can no longer grab it. The second last sale was actually the equivalent to the most recent sale. And that, of course, is $950.15 US. So, the last, so this is now a $950 US book. In the span of, of about six months, this book has gone crazy hot. It's quickly becoming a holy grail for some hardcore collectors. Glad to have it. The second last book that I'm going to talk about today is... Uh, is arguably the biggest win that I've ever that I've ever had when it comes to comic books. Um, I gotta refer to my notes for this. On January twenty fifth, twenty twenty one, I opened up another mystery box Monday video or unboxing on my channel again, January twenty fifth, and it was a torpedo box, and the book was celebrating Wolverine, and the two grand prizes that you could win out of that one hundred dollar box was either. A Hulk 180 or a Hulk 182 and uh, well I hit and I hit the big one I hit uh, the Hulk 180 in an 8.5 at the time of those books going on sale a few weeks earlier Torpedo Comics had valued that book at $1,500 US 
And I remember looking online before I purchased a box thinking, is that a little overestimated? Are they, are they putting it a little high for retail? And they were. At the time, the book was probably worth around 1100 1200 US. Either way, I rolled the dice and I hit. The book is an 8.5 off-white to white pages. And uh, yeah, before I show it, let's talk about the last three sales of Hulk 180, the first cameo appearance of Wolverine in continuity. The third last sale went for 20, or which was over 30 days ago, went for $2,262.96 Canadian, which is equivalent of $1,800 US. Let's just wipe that off the board because the book is no longer valued even close to what that was. Most recently, in the last week, we had two sales in the same 24 hour span. The first of the two, the second last one, went for $3,708.74 in Canadian, which is the equivalent of $2,951.29 or pardon me, $2,951.29 US. And just a short little while later, the book sold again for $2,500 US even. This is said Hulk 180. As you can see, there's a price tag. Hopefully the glare doesn't work where it's where they say 150. But the thing is, I can't judge this book on the numbers I just told you. Why? Because I don't know if someone at Torpedo Comics overlooked this because I didn't know this until I was just doing my homework uh, for you, Comic Army, to talk about the potential value of this book. This book has the Mark Jewelers insert right there. Incredible, incredible. I have no idea what the value of this book actually is at this moment. There's no sales on eBay in an 8.5 of, of a Mark Jewelers. In fact, I couldn't even find one of an 8.0 or 9.0 to try and give you some sort of guideline. I don't want to overestimate it because we all know that with Wolverine and the mutants coming to the MCU, that anything I could say would be totally out of the possibility of what the book truly is. And I have no idea what it's worth. But again, uh, I don't know if Torpedo Comics overlooked the fact that this is the Mark Jewelers insert, but this book is incredibly rare and I am over the moon ecstatic. The fact that I finally have the first cameo appearance of Wolverine in an 8.5 off white to white. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. Now my last box, or pretty mean the last book I'm going to talk about, I haven't really opened. Because I want it to be as truthful <laughs> as possible for you Comic Army to see my reaction when I open this book. Uh, before I, before I open this, let me just tell you, my three holy grails are Amazing Fantasy 15. That probably is not going to be, uh, unless I hit the lottery, it's not going to be a book that I get. Uh, the second holy grail is Amazing Spider-Man issue one. Uh, some of you know that I have accomplished that grail. I do have an Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, and it's actually graded by CGC in a yellow label. It was signed by Stan Lee. My third Holy Grail, which I'm holding in this box, uh, is gonna be unveiled right now. So I did pre-cut the box, but I haven't looked in it. This is my receipt. I will talk about what I paid for it, no problem. When I bought the book, and what it's potentially worth right now if I've gone up or down in value. I did buy this book on eBay. It's packaged very, very well, as you can see. not take any shortcuts 
packaging this book. <laughs> this is exciting. It's exciting for me. Just slip it right out of here. <laughs> My third holy grail, like everyone else that likes comic books, is of course the Incredible Hulk 181. I picked up a very low grade uh, copy of 181. It's off white pages. And uh, it can use some love, but I'm, I can't believe I actually finally have one. As we all know, the first, the first full appearance of Wolverine has gone over the moon in the last six months. Uh, it's gone from a book that was somewhat affordable to some collectors to becoming a book that a lot of people just can't afford anymore. <laughs> this is a, a Hulk 181 at an entry level 1.5. And uh, I, I finally have a copy of 181. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It could definitely use some restoration love, but uh, man, it is just, it's home. It's home. Let's talk about this book. <clears throat> February 14, 2021, I bought this book off eBay in an auction. Uh, I paid $2,022.84 Canadian for this book, which is the equivalent of $16.50.35 US. Uh, that was the second last sale on this book. This book has since sold uh, just three days later. On February 20, or pardon me, February 17th, 2021, this book went for, <laughs> when I paid 16, or pardon me, $1,650 US, the book jumped up $150 and sold for $1,878, pardon me, 1,178 cents US. Well, as you can see, I'm kind of missing one. <laughs> the Hulk 180, the Hulk 182. Uh, it's, it'll be a book that uh, if I happen to come across at a very good price, I'll pick it up. It's not something that I'm going to be actively hunting for right now, but, uh, It'll, it's now on my radar. So Comic Army, let me know. How did I do? Did you like what I picked up? I know I did. Yeah, it's... Uh, like, like the song says, two out of three ain't bad. Comic Army, my name is Chris. I'm the Comic Vet. Thank you for watching. It is much appreciated. Take care.